Hello and welcome to Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm your host, Jory Karen. Today's experiment was donated to us by Nicholas, and they are bouncy balls. And incidentally, they're bouncing right into my microwave. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's find out. Here in the Jory Karen Laboratory, safety is our number one concern. That's why we have behind this giant tinfoil shield. You all right there? <laughs> yeah, I know. You got a little ball <clears throat> in your throat there. It's probably the uh, experiments we've been doing. I could not have guessed. Tinfoil shield to protect our nuts because nobody likes roasted nuts. We also have these masks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, there they are. My well, frame is so close I couldn't see them. We also have these fans circulate the air and as always, our GE turntable microwave. Every time we touch, I get that feeling, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, in go the two bouncy balls into the microwave. I do how long you should put them in there for. I'm going to say three minutes. Okay, around and around they go. Where they stop? Uh, oh. We'll find out in a little bit. Wait, what happened? They just got right next to each other. That's nice. Well, they're, they're, they're bonding. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, one fell off the turntable. You created true love inside Lacey well, tonight. Well, they just fell off, so... Okay, so one's dead, so it's a Romeo and Juliet story. Romeo so now we really can't even see what's going on in there. Where are they now? This one will be a mystery. Where are they now, Jory? Uh, they're in, like, that corner. Jory, this experiment's not very exciting when you can't actually see what's going on in there. The balls have decided to hide because they want to deprive you of the pleasure of seeing them explode. It's okay, I don't want to see two exploding balls. Yeah, we do want to try to protect our nuts here at the Joy Care and Mike Believe Laboratory number two. Hmm. Oh, it just ended. We have a conclusion. Yes. Let's find out what happened. What are they? Are they gooey? No. They're just kind of slimy. The two bouncy balls are now kind of slimy. Probably not such a good thing that I got down my hands. But yes, when bouncy balls are in microwaves, they become like slimy, oily. Are you sure it's not all the stuff that they were rolling around in? No, I'm pretty sure it was like a weird, it was a different consistency than what I'm used to from them. Oh, well yeah. in that case. Maybe it was like the outside layer of the bouncy ball just kind of like melting off. I don't know. Whatever. Did that make it more bouncy? Give it a try. Right. Ready? And... I'd say it's normal bounce. Normal bounce. So, is it a good idea to microwave bouncy balls? It's a bounce idea. It does the normal bounce. Um, it makes it oily and not really fun to play with. So if you were playing catch and you wanted to play a prank on a friend, maybe then it'd be a little slippery, huh? Yeah. Still not a good idea. I'm thinking it looks not a good idea. That's it for Is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Troy Karen. It's chilling out, Joy. Mm-hmm. Just waiting for the end of this experiment. Being a microwave specialist isn't all it's cracked up, is it? I don't know. Sometimes I just cry myself to sleep.